Hey everyone, I'm Eric. And I'm Zoe. And today we wanted to show you how we made this soccer goal scoring project in Octo Studio. It's so cool. So like when you kick the ball into the cardboard box, you'll actually get a point. Uh, and so we'll show you how to make that game. So yeah, let's get started. Cool, let's do it. Okay, so we have this cardboard box. Uh, it should work pretty well. I think we just gotta take this flap probably down. Okay, I got this, I got this. I'll do one on this side. And then I'll do the others on this side. All right. Beautiful. So yeah, now we probably want to attach this somehow to the box. Oh, also we should mention, try as much as you can to have it be so that the phone is protected and is not yes. gonna get hit by the soccer ball. Um, yes. uh, nobody break their phones. Yep, phone's safe. Phone is on the box. Phone is on the box. They were good to go. So at this point, we started making the code part of our project. In Octo Studio, we just tapped create new project, and then we chose a soccer field for our backdrop. But you know, in your game, you could have whatever theme you want and whatever backdrop and sprites you want. For our sprite, we picked the goal. Now, how can you make the phone play a sound when the player scores a goal, you know, in real life? Well, in Octo Studio, you can make something happen in the project when the phone shakes. So we dragged out a when shake block and attached a play sound block to that. So now whenever you shake the phone, it plays a sound. And because the phone is on top of the cardboard box, every time you kick a goal into the box, that will shake the phone. And so Octo Studio will detect it as shaking. And we also wanted the player to gain a point every time they got a goal. So to do that, you can go to the more blocks category and drag out this block, change score by one. And I'll just attach that also underneath this when I shake block. And now whenever the phone shakes, the player also gets a point. And to reset the score when the game starts, we said when the play button is pressed, set the score to zero. And at this point, we were ready to test it out. So the score is currently zero, but now I'm gonna try to score a goal uh, to get a point. So uh, let's give it a shot. And uh, as you can see, uh, I gained a point in game. Uh, yeah, do you wanna try? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna set it here. I'm pretty far away. I'm gonna try not to screw this up. Ready? Ooh, not bad. I heard it go. One point. Word. Whoa. So we've got it working with the shake. So at this point, we decided it was a little hard to see the score. So we wanted to add a large number in the middle of the screen that would show the score. So here's how we did that. We added a new sprite and we tapped paint and we typed out a number zero. And then we did the same to make a number one and a number two and you can make you know however many numbers you want. And our idea was we will have only one of these numbers showing at a time. So when the score is zero, we'll make the zero show up. And when the score is one, we'll make the one show up. When the score is two, we'll make the two show up and so on. So the way you can do that is, well, let's take the zero as an example. So if the score is zero at this point in the game, then we want the zero to show. And if the score is not zero, then we want it to hide. And you can drag out an if block from the control category. And you can say, if the score equals zero, then show. And you can tap on this plus sign to add an else. And so you can say else hide. And if you put this inside a forever loop, now when you play the project, if the score is zero, you see this nice big yellow zero in the middle of the screen. And if you gain a point, now the score is one and you don't see the zero anymore. And we can do this for all the numbers. So you can actually long press on the code and tap copy script to and give this same code to the one and the two. And then the only thing you have to change for each number is for the one, you have to say, if the score equals one, then show, otherwise hide. And for the two, you have to put in, if the score equals two, then you want this to show, otherwise hide. And what this gives you is now, uh, you know, you can start the score at zero. And when you gain a point, this big number shows that indicates your score. And if you want the player to be able to keep getting more points, like I would just have to draw a three. And at this point, we were ready to test it out again. So now we have the score with an actual number display using sprites. Uh, so yeah, let's try it out and see how it looks. Okay. Nice. nice. And you know, you can do it multiple times. Okay, I'm gonna reset the score. I'll hit the play button. Okay, we're back at zero. Then I'm gonna run over here. Here we go. 
I'll be happy if this goes in. Oh, wow. Right Wait, that was there. so good. I think that's the only one I got. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna end on that one. <laughs> yeah, no, that was great. So yeah, that was the game that we made. And there are tons of different things you could add to this. You could make it two player, like there are two phones keeping score. You could also have a different theme or a different sport or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I hope you have fun making your projects and we'll see you in the next video.